Hey, this is Ryan from Web Eminence, and in this video, I'm going to give you a quick look at the HostGator website builder called Gator. HostGator is a popular web host that you've probably heard of. I actually used them years ago for my own hosting of my own website, as well as hosting uh, client websites. Always had a good experience with them, but I have not yet tried the website builder. Um, they asked me to review it as I review a lot of website builders on my channel. And uh, so I purchased the starter package and I'm gonna show you a quick overview of it here. I've not used it yet, so I'm gonna actually be getting my first impression of it on this video. They do have three plans, as you can see here with the starter plan, starting at $3.84 uh, per month. I believe it renewed for me at 11 or $12. Premium, looks like it just includes priority support and then there's an e-commerce version. So I'm not gonna be showing you the e-commerce functionality in this video, but I'm just gonna go over the functionality of the, you know, the basic website builder in this starter plan. So after logging in, uh, I'm gonna be taken to this page to choose a template, which is gonna be the first step. Looks like they have a lot of templates in several different categories. So I'll just scroll through these quick so you can take a look. You can click on these to preview them uh, and this will give you a closer look and to be honest I'm not super impressed with the designs that they're um, providing here. They just look a little basic and dated so let me just click on a few more so you can see them. There's just some elements that look like old you know web design maybe from late 90s or 2000s like this menu here. Just look at another one here. So design is subjective, but I think compared to other website builders, these do look really basic uh, in just the way they look and even amateurish in a way. So right off the bat, I'm not super impressed with the designs that they provide. It looks like these are mobile responsive in some form, but let's go ahead and choose one and then let's see what the actual website builder looks like. So I'm going to click choose to choose one of these templates and it's going to load the website editor. So I just took a few minutes to familiarize myself with this interface because this is the first time I'm seeing it. So on the top, you can see you can switch between pages here. So there's already some preset pages in each template, including this one I chose. So I'm on the home page. Uh, also on this top toolbar, I can switch between the mobile editor and the desktop editor so this is what the mobile editor looks like so you'll be kind of editing them separately although if you edit one thing like if i edit this text it'll probably change on the mobile editor as well but we'll see how that works there's some undo buttons and save preview publish so typical stuff for website builder on the left we have uh, the menu so the elements or all the different elements that can be added to the website so it looks like there's a number of elements. I'll go through these in a little bit more detail in a minute. And then again, this is all the pages. You could duplicate them and manage the different pages. Looks like there's some SEO settings available for each page. You can also hide a page in the menu on different devices like desktop or mobile. Section, so the, the website itself is divided into sections. So there's a header, which will show on each page a footer which will show on each page and then on this home page there's just section A and I can move these sections up or down and then if I click on one of these settings in orange the settings for that section show up so you can animate an entire section I can change the style of a section including border background color and all kinds of other settings the design tab on the left is probably going to change your design settings throughout the website. So standard background, all your preset colors, all your preset fonts for like headings. And then here's text style for different text uh, formats on the website, including, you know, paragraphs, menu buttons and headings. So these are the main four links on the left. You'll probably be using to build your website. So overall, the website builder looks pretty functional. I mean, you basically click elements like this image. I can drag, I can change all settings. Once you click on an element like text 
or an image, there is a toolbar that pops up where I can change the link, overlay color, border color, border width, opacity. You can animate all these options and then bring forward or send back. So you can kind of layer items here. So this is kind of working on a, a layered framework. So if I were to send this back, you wouldn't see it because it's behind the image. And I can bring it back forward again. So here's your typical text settings, everything that you're used to seeing. Here's all the elements or the animations that are available. So they animate as you scroll over them so you can see what's available. So you can probably animate all, most or all of the elements on the website builder. So if I wanted to add to this page, I'd probably just click on sections, click add new section. And they do have preset sections or I can add a blank one. So let's just try to add a preset like image and text section. So here's what that looks like. It's a preset section, it's called section one. I can move that up to the top or move it back to the bottom. And then again, you can click on all these items to edit that element. Just to give the mobile editor a quick test, let's change this text here and just say mobile test and if I go to the mobile editor, you see it does change that text. So all your elements will remain there on the mobile editor, but you can hide things like by clicking this, you can say hide on mobile. And then you probably can change spacings or placement of items in order to just change how it looks on the um, mobile site but you won't have to recreate the site on mobile. So I'll take a quick look at these four other links here. One of them is blog, so you can create a blog and manage your posts here. Not gonna get too deep into that. And then the store link is where you would manage the e-commerce um, option on your site. I don't have that on my plan. There are statistics available, which is also, it looks like you gotta publish your site first. And then there's a manage tab, which is basically settings. It's like there's social settings, e-commerce, redirects, uh, and some other settings here. So overall, I'd say the website builder itself is pretty functional and easy to use. Like I said, this is my first time using it. And just in a few minutes, I was able to find everything and figure it out. I have seen other website builders that have a steeper learning curve. So I think this one will be pretty easy for people to pick up and use quickly. I think the main drawback of it is the design themes. They do seem really dated. Um, so hopefully they'll upgrade those. And I think that would make this website builder a lot better. I do think it's good enough for HostGator customers who maybe sign up with HostGator or have a hosting account and just want to add a website builder so that they can create their own site. But if you're looking at website builders in general, uh, I think you're gonna find better options out there like Squarespace, Weebly, or Wix. Uh, for a similar price, you're gonna just get a lot better designs, the same features and much better features in many cases. So if you wanna check out those website builders and others that I've reviewed, I'll link to my website builder playlist right here. Go ahead and click that link uh, to start the next video and we'll see you there.